it's getting really cold on the homestead and so we need to gather some firewood last week on homestead how we cut down a huge pine tree with one of the smallest chainsaws you could buy on amazon Oh, oh, there it goes. It's a pretty fun video. Go check it out if you want. This week we're going to start cutting that tree up into pieces to use for firewood. And we're going to use the Argo in the trailer and we're hoping to load up about a trailer load per week for firewood going forward. We've got a pretty good stockpile to last us the next couple months but we always need more firewood on the homestead. Now before all the comments start coming in about how I'm destroying the forest and leaving nothing for my children, please understand that our trees here grow like weeds and we have mature trees growing in with about 15 baby trees growing around them. And if I don't cut down some of the larger trees, those 15 baby trees will all die. I've had the DNR out to the property and this area in particular really needs to be thinned out. You can't even see through it anymore because so many little trees are trying to grow in. Here, here from Homestead Howe, welcome to our homestead. Last time on Homestead Howe, we cut down this very tree right here with our little miniature smallest chainsaw you could buy on Amazon. It's a fun video, now we have to clean this tree up and use it for firewood. So Jen's out here and we're gonna use the little electric chainsaw and our everyday carry, the MS-362. So Jen and I are gonna cut off all these limbs first. But we're not going to throw those in the trailer. The first thing we're going to throw in the trailer is these big chunks of this pine so we can actually burn it. And then we can come back and get all the limbs and then take those over to the pile. But I don't want to overload the trailer with a bunch of limbs right now. I want to get the firewood. If you didn't watch our last video, you got to go check it back out because we cut this huge pine tree down with this little thing. It was a really fun video. We got bar oil in here. We need a little bit more maybe. You got a little baby funnel, Jen? Put that on my Argo. Look at that. Not a drip. Are you proud of me, Jen? Jen? Now, you, every now and then you gotta go like this. One, two, three. That lubricates the chain. See, Jen, you hold this button down, it's like a little safety. What are you gonna do with that little dinky thing? And then I this get to is, do the little dinky stuff. Just for size comparison, this is our MS-362. Jen's going to use this one. Yeah, but where's my baby? I'm going to use this one. That's my baby. And then we have the MS-171. <laughs> That's mine. This is the one we usually <laughs> use for limbing. Uh, and we'll probably do that today. We really got this one to use in the bucket truck. So that we have something electric and when I'm up in the bucket, I don't have to sit here cranking on this thing. I can just push a button have instant power but Jen you're gonna like this because it's so lightweight right if that thing is heavy after you do hours and hours of work your shoulder starts hurting yeah. this thing is so lightweight
If you guys are new to our channel, thanks for stopping by. This little six-wheeler vehicle I'm driving is called an Argo, and they're really cool. It's kind of like a little tank, and you can actually take it on land, as you see here, of course, or in water. It floats, and the wheels turn, and it actually propels you through the water. We haven't taken ours out into the water yet, but we hope to do that uh, when things warm up here next summer. But it is great for getting in the woods and pulling the trailer and getting into some hard to reach spots, navigating around logs and things like that. Uh, plus it's a lot of fun to do donuts with in the winter time on the ice. Really cool little vehicle. I fired up our outdoor wood boiler, our 6048 central boiler late into November this year and we didn't use it last year at all. It's been so nice having this thing running. We have the heat at like 74 degrees, pretty much unlimited hot water, and it heats our rental building upstairs. But we do have to keep it stocked with uh, plenty of firewood as you see here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos on firewood or our outdoor wood burner, we've got plenty of them here at Homestead Howe. I'll leave a link in the description below. And stay tuned till the very end of this video as we do in every episode of Homestead Howe. We're gonna show you some of our favorite photographs we took on and about our homestead. We got some really cool photos from Wisconsin Dells and all of their Christmas lights they have up, as well as the usual assortment of deer photos we've been taking around the homestead. 